Have you caught the latest Tesla Optimus video? If not, stop what you're doing and take a closer look, because this isn't just a robot dancing. It's hopping. It's balancing on one foot. And that tether on its back? It's slack. It's not holding the robot up. Optimus is standing and moving entirely on its own. This isn't a staged showcase or a highlight reel, it's a technical phenomenon. What we're witnessing is real-time dynamic balance and control, something that even the most advanced humanoid robots struggle with. And yet, here's Tesla's Optimus, pulling it off with surprising grace. This isn't just a sign of progress. It's a wake-up call. Tesla's humanoid robot is advancing faster than anyone expected, and it's already starting to leave the competition behind. What the video really shows. Let's break it down. In this latest clip shared by Elon, Optimus performs coordinated dance movements while shifting its weight from one leg to the other. There's a clear sense of rhythm, poise, and balance. It doesn't stumble. It doesn't falter. And when it lifts one leg and holds a pose, you realize, this isn't pre-programmed puppetry. This is real-time dynamic control. This level of movement involves inertial control and center of gravity adjustment. Torque control in joints, not just basic servos. Sensor feedback loops at incredibly high frequency. And most impressively, balance recovery, in case of perturbation. Most humanoid robots today can barely walk without a harness. And when they do, it's often stiff, hesitant, or wobbly. What Optimus is doing here isn't just mobility, it's performance. And the string in the back? That's likely there for safety, not support. In industrial testing, robots are often tethered in case they fall. But watch closely, it goes slack. That bot is standing and moving under its own power. Tesla Optimus, from concept to reality. When Elon Musk first revealed the concept of the Tesla bot back in 2021, it was met with equal parts curiosity and skepticism. The robot was introduced during Tesla AI Day with bold claims, 5 feet 8 inches, 125 pounds, able to carry 20 plus kilograms, and eventually able to do boring, repetitive, dangerous tasks. Most people laughed. Some said it was a distraction. Others said it was science fiction. After all, building a general-purpose humanoid robot is something that even Boston Dynamics, with decades of robotics expertise, still hasn't perfected. Fast forward just a few years, and Tesla Optimus has made massive strides. This isn't a company dabbling in robotics on the side. Tesla is building Optimus using the same stack of technologies that power its self-driving cars. Neural networks for perception and control. Custom-designed actuators and sensors. Dojo supercomputer for training simulation. And crucially, human-like form factor design, tuned for real-world tasks. Tesla is not building a robot just to dance, it's building a platform to integrate with the physical world in ways only humans currently can. We've seen Optimus handle sorting tasks, fold laundry, pick up fragile objects like eggs, and now balance dynamically. It's not just brute force mechanics, it's fine motor control, something very few robotics projects can claim. What makes Optimus different? Tesla's approach is radically different in one critical way. They are thinking in terms of scalability from day one. Elon Musk has said that he wants Optimus to be a mass market product. Not a lab experiment. Not a million dollar one-off. A robot that could one day be as common as a car. To do that, Tesla is leveraging its core competences. Mass manufacturing, they know how to build hardware at scale. AI training infrastructure, thanks to their autopilot program and dojo, Tesla has access to immense amounts of compute. Vertical integration, everything from chips to actuators is being built in-house. Optimus is designed to get cheaper over time, not more expensive. Tesla isn't trying to sell $500,000 robots to government agencies, they want to sell millions of bots at prices that make them viable for homes and businesses. And the dancing? That's not just for show. It's a proof of motor flexibility, the same kind of flexibility that a household robot would need to work safely and efficiently in unstructured environments. How it stacks up against competitors. Let's talk competitors. Boston Dynamics, Atlas. 
Boston Dynamics has long been the poster child for humanoid robotics. Their Atlas robot has wowed audiences with park hour, backflips, and choreographed routines. Boston Dynamics recently retired Atlas and released new version that is more practical and electric-powered, possibly taking cues from Tesla's progress. Figure AI, Figure 02. Figure has emerged as one of Tesla's most interesting rivals. Founded by Brett Adcock, Figure has a humanoid robot that looks sleek, agile, and is being pitched for warehouse labor. Figure's pitch is similar, a general-purpose humanoid that can work safely with humans, powered by AI. They've shown the robot walking, grasping, and doing basic tasks. They even signed a pilot deal with BMW. However, Figure is a startup. They are fast, but their compute stack, manufacturing pipeline, and data infrastructure can't match Tesla's scale, yet. They are still in the early stages of deployment and haven't shown the same level of dynamic balance or advanced motion as Optimus is now demonstrating. Agility Robotics, Digit. Agility's Digit is focused more on bipedal locomotion and logistics. It doesn't have arms like a human, and its form factor is more function-first than humanoid. It's impressive for carrying packages and navigating warehouses but isn't aiming for general-purpose humanoid performance. Digit is already being tested in partnership with Amazon, but again, this is a narrow application, not a general-purpose worker. Unitree H1 Unitree's H1 is China's entry into the humanoid space. It's fast, nimble, and capable of complex movements. However, it's still very early, and most of what we've seen is outdoor locomotion, not fine motor tasks or cognitive manipulation. They've made some very compelling demos, but it remains to be seen how much of it is under autonomous control versus pre-programmed paths. Why this matters more than ever. The truth is, Tesla is not just building a robot. They are building a future workforce. A digital labor force. If Tesla can achieve what they are aiming for with Optimus, we're not just looking at a humanoid robot, we're looking at a productivity multiplier for industries that rely on manual labor, factories, warehouses, elder care, domestic help. The implications are massive. And the dancing? That's a signal. It means the robot is reaching a level of control where it can do unstructured, non-repetitive, and unstable tasks, exactly the kinds of things you need in real-world applications. Most people still think Optimus is a sideshow, a gimmick. But if you've seen the slow-motion version of this latest dancing video, you know better. This isn't just entertainment. It's a milestone. Tesla Optimus is learning to move like a human. And that means one thing, it's getting ready to work with humans and maybe even replace them in certain roles. While others are catching up, Tesla has the resources, talent, and infrastructure to scale humanoid robotics at a pace that's simply unmatched. So, next time you see Optimus dance, don't laugh. Look closer. That's the future moving in rhythm.